a trainer and a discipler of men. A pastor who knows every inch of the sheepfold. When I see shepherds, I smell sheep. And this man is called a shepherd in the house of God. And I shall put healing in your hands. I'm speaking to both of you now, not individually, but I'm speaking to you corporately. There shall be healing in your hands. I don't see healing lines, but I see sick beds. And I see hearts that are overwhelmed by the sickness of soul, torn and wounded lives. <laughs> and I tell you that I put them upon your heart. And I put anointing in your hands that together you may heal them, says the Lord. Yea, my son, a recommissioning is taking place this day by my Spirit. <laughs> and you shall be known as a healer of broken lives. <laughs> I give you new psalms to sing. You shall sing out of the old psalms, and you shall sing out of the new psalms, says the Lord. <laughs> and you shall be an encourager by the song that I put in your heart. I, I don't know if you play an instrument or not, but I'm telling you that music is in, is in every atom of your being. And God's going to draw that out and use that. And your voice is going to project music. Not just a song, but music with the song. Hallelujah. Father, I bless this couple now in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Reach your hand this way. I want to see every one of these. What you... I want you to be involved in this recommissioning today. That they shall be healers in the house of God. <laughs> and that wounded and broken lives will be drawn by the Spirit. Hello. God bless you. Thank you for joining with us. This is Pastor Chris Green, my wife Carol. And wow. we'd like to really show our appreciation to you for taking the time to join us on this journey of looking back through the many promises that God has given us through the years. That video clip that you just uh, listened to was a word that came to us in our home church, Metro Christian Worship Center in St. Louis, Missouri. Prophet Laddie McDonough kind of stopped in the middle of his message and began to prophesy over me and my wife, and it was way back in May of 1991. And we want to take you on this journey, and so please sit back and just watch and observe the things that God spoke. We want to begin with by first taking you to the very special moment when we were officially released mm -hmm. to come to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania and start a ministry here. After that video, you're going to see a clip of the installation service. Um, after we got here and we were up and going and our bishop and came to lay hands upon us and to officially release us and all of the other leaders that you're going to see on that little clip will be leaders from right here in this region yeah, from um, around the area from, from the area yeah. for pastors and leaders from both the east side and the west side yeah, and very so special. very special and we didn't know at the time how significant that was to have leaders from both the east mm -hmm. and west shore to be a part of our installation so already God was speaking from the beginning that he had called us to a ministry uh, where there would be reconciliation mm -hmm. and people bridge coming building. together, a bridge building. And so you'll see what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. The place I'm sending you to is a place that will require my grace. And because of your faithfulness in this house, walk in the double portion, both of you, in Jesus' name. Junctures, even as my servant Elisha, and you did not take your eyes off of the man of God that I placed over you. And so, because of that, 
you will see my anointing flow upon you. And you will strengthen that which is already built. But I will begin to walk up and down the streets of Philadelphia, and you shall make room for my children, saith the Lord. For you have always dreamed of a ministry that would touch all of the young people. You have literally desired to take young people to build a work. And I'm going to take your hearts, the both of you, and you will have a church full of the 20s and the 30s and even the teens. It will be filled with them, saith the Lord. And you will go among the colleges and begin to communicate with them. I'm going to give you favor with the high schools. And you, you're going to be able to go into the high schools. And I'm going to unlock finances through grants that you might even minister to the drug addicts. And I'm going to supply leaders under both of you that will carry the work of the Lord. For I give you that apostolic anointing. For you have been faithful as a pastor. Even now, saith the Lord, my strength begins to flow inside of both of you and you will have a dog determination regarding building and you shall build even that edifice that will bring glory to my name and you will establish men and women in the faith and they shall grow and like you see tonight you will ordain men and women not many years from now you will begin to send them out you will send them out you will send them out you will send them out, send them out. the anointing of God comes upon both of you for I hear the Lord say because of your faithfulness even when it was not popular when it broke everything inside of you when you gave up many opportunities for the sake of this house and for the sake of the ministry you forsook that which would bring greater finance for the sake of this house and because of this I will not forsake you for you will move with the favor of the Lord and you both shall move like a team well synchronized together and I'm going to unlock the word of the Lord that's inside of you for I have given you a tremendous, a tremendous gift of delivery and you will deliver my word and I'm going to take the edge off, saith the Lord, that, that, that when you minister the word, it will be a word that brings comfort and yet you will be known as one who brings the sword to those. I mean, you, I, I placed a sword inside of you and you will know exactly how to say it and, and, and really bring correction. I've placed that inside of you, but I will give you a timing in terms of how to use it. But the grace of favor comes Thank upon you, and I will feature you. I will feature you in Philadelphia, and I'm going to give you equipment. I'm going to give you equipment. You have dreamed of certain equipment. I'm going to give you equipment. Hallelujah. You're going to have a stage and, and the stage is going to be large and it's going to be lit up with lights and, and people are going to think they're coming to a rave. They're going to come, it's going to look like a rave, but they're coming into a place of the glory of God and the place is going to be filled. I see the lights. I see the audio visual equipment. I see all of that that you desire. I'm going to give it, said the Lord, because of your faithfulness. For the faithful man and woman shall abound in blessing and receive it now in Jesus name and the word of the Lord came and said oh man of God I am sending you because you have gone through the stages of sprouting budding blossoming and fruit bearing for I'm sending you to a people who have known the bitterness of the law the legalistic attributes of the law but they have never tasted of the sweet almond of the spirit of truth. And where there have been countless others who have come before and have tried to navigate the word, I am sending you because you know what it means to live in bitterness and to wait for the promise of the sweet life through Christ. 
I raise you up in this hour, O man of God, as a prophet to this era, that you will bring healing indeed to those who are broken and bereft of hope. For I will indeed speak to the generations in their varied shades of development, to the younger ones who are merely sprouting, looking for hope, to the older ones who have only known the legalistic, ritualistic practices of the law, to those who have desired to bloom and yet have been squelched by a religious order that is not of me, and even to those who are in their fruit-bearing years, I am sending you. For I have the precious seed of my word of the almond deep within your being. The bitterness of the hull shall be stripped away by the fire that is within your mouth, saith the Lord. And even with that fire there will be a gentleness. For there is much need of healing. Much need of recovery. Much need of dealing with the past with this people that I'm sending you to. Jesus. And a woman of God, I am sending you and raising you up in this hour with a word of counsel. For indeed, this shall be a season that you will blossom and bloom. It will be a season where you will spill forth counsel, unpremeditated counsel. For the word of the Lord shall spill through your lips like rain like dew drops upon a parched barren land so are some of the souls of the people that i'm sending you through but you will speak the word of the lord and in an instant you will see vegetation sprout forth in the name of jesus and a woman of god we break off from you now timidity and fear and all the perfectionism that has held the deep deposit of god within you captive this hour you are released, released, released that the vintage wine of God will flow and that many will know I am in this place indeed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For I have need of you in other places that I might multiply what I have given in terms of dream regarding many churches and many pastors. For you will pastor pastors, and I've given you both a bridge building anointing. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. For you will build bridges where others have tried to build bridges regarding racial reconciliation inside of Philadelphia. And you will have a way of dealing with all nationalities, for the wisdom of the Lord comes upon you both regarding the races and your music and your rap shall precipitate that which will cause the races to come together saith the lord i have wrought this bridge building anointing for you will build alliances even with other pastors and civic leaders but it has always been that dream but the lord says as you leave no i'm going to supply that which you've given and because of your faithfulness and woman of God I want you to take the hands of this woman because the Lord is doing something very precious inside of this family this is a true priesthood family the green family before the Lord is a priesthood family and the Lord releases you my sister thank you from all the hurts from all the pains and misunderstandings. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. He releases you, sister. For it was part of your development. <laughs> For where you're going now. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Just come and seal in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your grace, Lord. Thank you for your word. It is true. We affirm it afresh of the new Lord this night. That which has been spoken in secret, you have now made public. We thank you for the awesome way. We release Chris and Carol now to the city of Harrisburg. And it sounds like Philadelphia, too. For the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Amen.
Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. Praise. Father, I just thank you for this couple. I pray the blessing of the Lord over them. <clears throat> Here's what I sense in my spirit. I know you're not after a big ministry. You're after a, a grassroots thing. But because your heart's been right, the Lord's going to put a ministry into your hands like you've never seen before. It's going to be a, you know, I don't want to say one of these mega things or whatever, but the God's going to put a ministry in your, in your hands. And it's going to be a, a, some kind of a huge thing here in Harrisburg. I don't understand it all, but I just know, God, your hearts are right. God's going to put a ministry in your hand that's going to be explosive here in the Harrisburg area. Father, I just pray the blessing of the Lord over this couple and their, and their sons. Father, I ask that you will just use them in such a powerful way. You'll use them in such a powerful way that thousands will come to know Jesus. <laughs> Thousands, Father, thousands and thousands and thousands come to know Jesus through this ministry. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, bless them, bless them, bless them with everything they need to fulfill the destiny of God in Harrisburg. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for what you, your deposit of life in them. I see them speaking words of life, that they actually life people as they speak words over them, words of hope, words of salvation, words of healing, words of deliverance, God. We thank you for the life that you put in their mouth. I just see a... a, a rod with budding coming out of their mouths out of their their very life lord the life of your word the life of your spirit being shed abroad among the peoples of this area lord and i just see a trail beyond their foot Prince, that there's just a path. There's many in the wake of their footprints, just walking in their footprints, following them, Father. We just thank you for these guys. We just bless them in the name of Jesus. Continue, Lord, to expand their capacity to receive beyond their wildest dreams, beyond what they could even ask or think, God. You're a God of the increase. You're a God of the expanse. And it's not just for numbers, as the pastor said. It's because your heart is so big, and you don't even want one to perish, Lord. You're heart is for every soul God you love their people God you sent servants Lord that, that smell of sheep you're tired of shepherds that don't smell of sheep that stay apart from the sheep God but these guys they smell like sheep they're willing to go low and minister and Lord you smile from heaven your blessing is upon them we bless what you bless we accept what you accept and we thank you Father for all you're doing in this moment in the name of Jesus Father, we thank you for your word that says you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or imagine. And Lord, whatever their expectations are, we know that you are able to do more. So we agree with that tonight, Lord, that you are going to bless them beyond their wildest imaginations, Lord, beyond anything they've seen or heard. Lord, we thank you that you're going to give them favor even as they walk the streets of this city. May the glory of the Lord be seen upon them. Lord, I pray that they would have people even stop and, and ask them, what is the reason of the hope in them? What is different about them? Father, if you could cause uh, just a humble maidservant like me to see something in them that was all over them, you can surely cause your people throughout this city, Lord. You can cause the lost, the hurting, the desperate to see you you in them. So Lord, we pray for such a harvest. Father, we pray for the lost to come to come tr trickling in and rushing into this place, Lord. We pray that they would expand and and burst the seams of this place and you would already be preparing the next place for them, Father. Be preparing the future staff for them, Lord. Be preparing every finance that's needed, every every audio visual equipment, every they need father we call it forth out of your riches tonight in the name of Jesus and we receive these 
these gifts, Lord. We receive these this brother and sister and their sons in the name of Jesus. We are grateful for these gifts that you've brought to our city, and we receive them, and we covenant to work together with them, Lord, till Jesus comes. We covenant together to see you fulfill your purposes, and we thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do in Jesus' name. Well, we really hope that you were able to get a real understanding of what God has been saying to us and the foundation by which this ministry was established. It was established under prophetic anointing and with a prophetic sending out. We were commissioned uh, to come to Harrisburg and to do this. And, and um, all this time that we've been here, we've just been... Uh, on this journey mm -hmm. of for the Lord to bring forth the people who would connect with us right. to fulfill this prophetic promise and prophetic charge. Right, while operating under uh, a covering uh, from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, we didn't just come, we didn't just went, we <laughs> were sent um, with a, a specific plan and purpose uh, that was given to us by God.